I always wanted a tracer unit, but I could never really justify it. So I did what many others would do. I got a flashlight and turned it on whenever I would fire, so that I could kind of trace the BBs as they flew. With the Aztec Bifrost, I can actually put the flashlight away, at least when I'm playing on a field that is well lit. Because this is more than just a tracer unit. Unlike most tracer units, the Bifrost has LEDs in front of the flash hider, instead of just inside. It's definitely worth the price of $90 to $100, especially for newer players. In the box, we get the tracer, a pistol adapter, the manual, a Type-C charging cable, and an Allen key. In order to get started, all you gotta do is twist the back off of the tracer unit. And when you do, you can see that it even has a little rubber o-ring, so it is water resistant. On the inside, we have a flame button on the left and a mode button on the right, and under that is the charging port. I kind of wish there was a third separate button, but this ends up working fine, although it's a bit confusing sometimes. To turn it on, just press the mode button once. Press and hold the mode button to switch between the tracer modes. One light is for tracer mode on, two lights is for sniper mode, and three lights is for tracer function completely off. Pressing the flame mode cycles through the different forward LED functions. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, purple, an RGB stream, a rainbow stream, flashing one for each color of the rainbow, and demo mode. Then you can press it again to turn the function off. Press the mode button, then press and hold it again for six seconds, it'll go into diagnostic mode. If it holds a green light at the bottom at the end, then you're good. If it's red, you need to clean it. To completely turn off the unit, just press the mode button once. If you don't use it for 5 minutes, it'll go into standby mode. So, give it a shake, or pick up your replica, and it'll turn back on. Now, something about the sniper function, I wouldn't use it. Otherwise, if you want to save BBs, you have to manually load 3 normal BBs, and then, on a 4th, 1 tracer BB. This is just annoying to do. Let's take a look at the tracer function, and yeah, it works exactly as you would expect. It only works with green BBs though, not red, and not blue. Now the real reason you'd buy this? For the flash function, and yeah, that is pretty bright. It's hard to capture on camera, but you can actually trace the BBs as they fly. But from a sideways angle, you can kind of see how there's motion blur with the light as the BB comes out, so it looks kind of like a flame. Muzzle flash from a firearm, except this is just light. And in crazy colors that a real firearm would never actually make. This is what the rainbow cycle function looks like. And this is the rainbow stream. You can see that it does look like all the colors are in the same flame. It's especially visible in full auto. And in slow motion you can see it even better as well. This is my favorite function, and honestly, I'm using it because it's just so ridiculous and hilarious, and a nice reminder that we're playing Airsoft, just a fun little game. And for any of you Call of Duty fans out there, and Warzone fans, it's very, very similar to what we have. It works well, up to 30 rounds per second, and it looks even better the closer you get to that fire rate. And even though this probably looks way better on a gas replica, the fact that it looks this good in an AG, that should say something. Especially since you can use it without tracer BBs. Put your normal BBs in, and turn the flash function on. Of course, you can also turn the tracer and the flash function on, but then you kind of have to work to match your colors. Otherwise, it looks a bit weird. But seriously, if you've been wanting a tracer unit, this is the one to get. It's a lot of fun, and I highly recommend it to everyone. And that's the video. If you enjoyed it or it's helped you in any way, let me know by leaving a like. If you got any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section down below. And if you'll make sure that you never send our video, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.